the most viral products on the internet to find out what all the hype was about. But then I ended up buying all of their dupes as well to see if we really need to be spending all of that money on these viral products and not just go with these dupes. This one's not obviously a trash, this product is still really good, but I think that the dupe took the point for this one. This is actually shocking. I bought over 10 items that we will be testing today to see if the product is really a smash or a trash. Starting with one of my absolute favorites, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush with its viral dupe, the Milk Makeup Blush. Now, if you know me, you know exactly why I am obsessed with Rare Beauty and Selena Gomez, right? Right? Okay, great. Her message is honestly amazing and it's showing exactly in the title, Rare Beauty. We're all unique, we're all beautiful in our own ways, and and that is exactly what her company Not to mention, all of the products are fantastic and I'm excited to be trying this liquid blush as well. And the Milk Makeup Dupe. Sadly, this was not the jelly tint one, which was the one that I really, really wanted to buy, but this one's pretty good. Um, for starters, this thing is tiny. And this right here cost $24. $24 for this thing. Like, this is like literally the size of my cheek. It is mini. So I'm not really sure if the dupe is gonna win over the viral product because currently the viral product was $23, but look at that size difference. You get two times the amount for the exact same amount of dollars. So, I don't know, but we're gonna have to see what it looks like to really decide. Oh, okay, I love this color, actually. I feel like this color really fits perfectly with me, and she also has a ton of other colors, which is, of course, a plus. That blended in pretty well. I feel like this fits really nicely with my color, like my skin tone. Not bad, actually, this is not bad, but let's see if the milk product will be better. Okay, the sticks are obviously a lot harder to apply, because they are a... Are, are you saying anything? Because I'm not exactly saying anything. Ooh, this one smells like pomegranates. Or peaches. It smells good, and I always love things that smell really nice. So this one obviously blends in a lot, but at the same time, we weren't exactly getting much on there. I don't know, I gotta say, the pluses of Rare Beauty are the fact that she has such a great message. The products are very specific to you, to what you feel most beautiful in, and not to mention, it was $23 for the amount that you get here. Versus the milk product, it is really tiny, it's also $24, and it's kind of having some difficulties applying. I mean, I think you can kind of tell the difference between the two. So, I think we all know it. We're going to smash the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and trash the Milk Makeup Blush. It was a good idea, but nothing was better than the viral product. The next viral product is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. And the dupe for this one is this one that I found on Timu and it's really trashy. I mean, honestly, you can just tell by the packaging. This one's actual, like, real glass. The lid stays on, right? You can hear it, like, click. So, I don't even know if we really need to test this one. I think we all already know that this one is trash. Because I don't know if you can see this right here. I've got some zits from testing those products. But, ah, we can give it a chance. We're all for second chances, right? Obviously. Gotta pull the hair up and out of our faces. Wow, okay, can we just talk about the fact that that blush is still like bright and booming over there? I feel very like, ooh, glamorous. She's cute. She's beautiful. She's rare. I like that. And then, oh, cute. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna stick to the viral sides on this side and the dupe sides on this side. This poor side of my face is just seriously suffering, but starting off, obviously, first impressions on this one, it's real. <laughs> I mean, what else can I say about it? I love the little application right here too. It's a, it's very nice. It's a very nice product. We're already off to a great start. I love the, the feeling of this one too. And I'm just gonna, you know, <gasps> it smells so good. I could honestly eat this one. No, we're not gonna eat it. And it feels honestly so nice. It's applying very nicely to my face, you know? Like I don't feel sticky, I don't feel gross. This product is to die for. I think we all understand now why it's viral because it is very much so worth it. And now for the dupe, it's definitely more lotion-y, but it also looks like a freaking thing of slime. It's very separated in the oil and the actual lotion itself. I mean, I think you can like tell and see that consistency, but 
It also smells not good. I mean, it smells like a very cheap product. It honestly smells like a perfume that I probably got at the dollar store when I was 10 years old. You know, that, that obsession we all had. It isn't a terrible texture, but just going off of the two of these, this Glow Recipe dupe was $7.25, and the Glow Recipe dewdrops were $35. Honestly, for these high-end products, this wasn't too terrible of a price. It is a very nice package. It is a great product, and I honestly would say it is worth the money. It is going to leave your face feeling like a baby's bum, which I promise is something good. It's good. Whereas this side feels pretty sticky, and I hon honestly, I can feel the difference in the two sides of my face. And this one is a lot smoother, very suave. I'm really just trying to come up with any other words here. Whereas this side feels a lot more sticky. I think we can all agree that this Glow Recipe dupe is going in the trash. Another viral product that is a smash. This next viral product is one that I have been obsessed with for years. The Marc Jacobs perfumes. These perfumes I have seen with so many influencers. All the influencers usually go out, test the perfumes. They always have these really cute parties. But all in all, they have such amazing scents. So I was beyond excited to get these. Like this, this is a little gift that I was getting for myself that I have wanted for years now. But I mean, in comparison to a lot of influencers, these ones are kind of expensive. Expensive. So when I was scrolling on the internet just a couple of days ago, I found this. These right here are dupes of these Marc Jacobs perfumes. I wouldn't really say that they're dupes, but they're basically dupes. And the amount that these cost will shock you. But we're gonna see if the dupes are a smash and we honestly need to trash the original Marc Jacobs perfumes, or if these are gonna end up in the trash just like all of the rest of them. So. Starting off with our Daisy Mark Jacobs. Such an amazing smell. It's very fruity, very sweet, but it's not super sugary sweet, right? It's still got a little bit of that tartness to it. It's just a very pure scent that I love. I also think that when you are buying the Marc Jacobs perfumes, you are buying the bottle because these bottles are iconic. Now for the Perfect by Mate Mark Jacobs. This one is honestly so cute as well. And this one has a much different scent. It smells a little bit more, less flowery, it kind of more fruity maybe. I'm really not sure how to explain it exactly, but it also smells amazing and is to die for. But now we really have to try the dupes because I really wanna see if these are worth the amount that they cost. Starting off with the Perfect by Marc Jacobs. This one is a floral rhubarb. And for starters, okay, I love this cap. The cap doesn't just like pull off. Well, it kind of does. It's a magnet, so you can honestly go like that and it just comes off. That is honestly so nice. Now let's see if it's gonna smell the same as the Perfect by Marc Jacobs. Okay. Oh, this thing smells the exact same as this bottle right here. I think this might be the most amazing dupe that I have seen so far, and I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I think the rest of these are gonna shock us as well. Now let's see if the other dupe is just as good. This one is the Daisy Oh So Fresh dupe, and it is called the Floral Violet. You honestly can't smell it like without spraying it, so let's see. Okay. Oh, I wish I had the papers. Let's, I'm gonna spray this one further up. <laughs> okay, I will say that this one is a little bit tartar. It's got a little bit different of a smell, but this one still smells honestly super, super great. Like I would use all four of these, but now the decision is gonna be super hard. As you probably know, I am a very big cover judgy, judge a book by its cover girly. So I love the packaging on these ones. You do get a lot more in these than you do in these ones. However, for the amount that these cost, I'd probably actually save my money on the viral ones and I'd go for these ones. And I looked on their company, they have so many. You could be hitting it at the party all bougie with some Louis Vuitton, you could be with some YSL. Like they've got some really nice ones and none of them are more than about 50 bucks. So I'm gonna have to give it to the dupes. These are a serious smash. And I'm not exactly gonna throw these ones because they're not trash and they're also glass. So 
The next viral product that we've got is the Summer Fridays Butter Lip Balm. This stuff is all over the internet, and I personally know exactly why. This stuff is so good. I'm gonna have to say it's already a smash. But there's a dupe of this, and I was honestly shocked at how similar the two of them are. Okay, well, technically we've got four of them, but I'm assuming that, honestly, I don't know, there's a ton. We've got the brown sugar, the vanilla beige, vanilla, and some pink sugar. I'm pretty sure the Summer Fridays one that I have is the brown sugar, and this one right here is also the brown sugar. Let's test it out. Now for first impressions. Okay, from afar, tell me there is not like any difference in the two of them. This is crazy. Like even the style is very similar. The brand right here, the dupe is called a lip balm butter and this one is the lip butter balm. So yeah, I'm gonna have to admit, brown sugar is not my favorite, but the color is very pretty. It really is a very buttery balm. This stuff is so good. Ooh, she is beauty, she is grace. I love the color. It smells great as well. It really does smell like brown sugar. Let's test this one out. Oh gosh. Okay, it is already, okay. That's, ah, stop it. Oh my gosh, it just keeps overflowing. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to just, okay, okay, well. It smells scented, that's for sure. Holy crap, this is coming out like crazy. They're both very buttery and balmy. Obviously, this one came out a lot more, so you're gonna see a lot more. It does have a nice scent to it. Like, it doesn't smell bad. I just can't tell what the smell is exactly. It's not brown sugar. It doesn't smell terrible. Don't get it in your mouth. Ugh. I don't know. This one's actually really hard. Again, it's really hard for me to go for the dupes because I love the name brand items, but for the quality, for the sake of costs, because the Viral Summer Fridays lip balm is $24, and this one right here, $7. I don't know. We've got a battle going on over here. I do really like this one. It smells really good. Can I just put both of them in the smash and say, honestly, get both of them? Is that allowed? Yes? No? Okay, for the sake of this, I'm gonna have to give this one the smash. This one is really, really good. It is a lot cheaper and they both feel literally the exact same. Like, I'm gonna say this one's a little bit liquidier and this one, the smash too. This next viral product that we have got holds near and dear to my heart because it is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Did I get you? Tell me that this one doesn't look literally identical. Now, obviously they're both the two different kinds, but I mean, just by looking at them, I don't really see any differences. Now the real test is going to be obviously using them and smelling them and the actual product itself. So starting off with the dupe. Okay, it's obviously got the same top. Oh, okay. And then we have obviously got the Sol de Janeiro. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit difficult actually. I mean, I'm gonna say that this one's obviously a lot more buttery and this one is a little bit more chunky, but they aren't terrible quality. Look at me with all the rhymes. Let's try this one. Ooh, she is very buttery. Feels so soft. It doesn't have much of a scent actually. I know that the orange one has a lot more of a scent. I didn't have it with me though, so bear with me. The scent is not completely there, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not exactly loving the smell of that. That is kind of disappointing. Let's try the other one. Okay, this one's also very buttery. The, like, oops, super buttery. Now let's test it. It's honestly super smooth. It's It's got the same amount of scent to it as the normal Sol de Janeiro one has, so it's not a ton of smell. <sighs> this is hard. I know some of you may hate me for this, but I am honestly going to have to go with the dupe bum bum cream. This one is actually the Brazilian bum cream, not the bum bum cream. But I just, I wasn't having it with this one. And maybe it's the scent, but they are almost identical. So this one I can actually trash. And this one is our smash. That is honestly kind of shocking. Next viral product that we've got, well, Actually, I'm gonna be honest, there's multiple of them. We have got all of the viral bronzing drops. These have been hitting the internet like crazy, I think especially because it's now summertime. And even when it's not summertime, these are helping us stay a little bit more bronzy. I bought every single one of the viral ones and we're gonna see which one's actually better. Now the viral ones are obviously the Glow Recipe and the Drunk Elephant. 
And the dupes, we've got the Lumi Glotion as well as the Elf one. I think we all kind of understand my feelings towards the Elf one, but we're gonna see which one is gonna be at the smash and which one's going to be the trash. Now I'm unsure how exactly we're going to split this. I'm assuming we're gonna split it in four sections and test them. Now we're gonna go with the virals both on this side and the dupes both on this side. Starting with our glow recipe dewdrops. I obviously really was obsessed with the original dewdrops. Now let's see how the bronzing dewdrops are. I'm gonna just go with one because uh, we're only using it for the fourth of my face. Okay, this stuff actually quite amazing. I did not need this much. I also love that it's kind of already got the serum inside of it so you don't need to pair it with something because I have honestly been having a hard time with my bronzing drops because I have to pair it with something and it ends up flaking. So maybe this is my new answer. Wow, this stuff is great, actually. Don't mind the application of it all because uh, obviously we can only do a fourth of my face. Maybe I'm gonna make this a look, but so far it's super nice, actually. I'm gonna just go out like this. Now for the Drunk Elephant. Wow, I love the packaging of this. Drunk Elephant, pop off. It came with something. I got an extra little tiny sample. How cute is that? You're already getting brownie points over here, Drunk Elephant. I do like that this one is like, comes out like this. So I can just kind of put a couple down instead of squirting a whole thing on my arm. Honestly, I think that just applying it in fourths is giving it like a bad rap already. This one's not terrible. You can, <laughs> I'm just laughing at the fact that I look so awful right now. The application, obviously this one's a lot thicker. I think you do have to apply it with your lotion or your, your SPF, whatever it is, but it blends in quite nicely, I will say. Let's move on to the dupes because I really can't handle just being half whatever this is and half not. Starting with the e.l.f. one. This one seriously is a absolute dupe to, oh gosh, why is it coming out? Ah! Now I will say, I do enjoy finding dupes. I do love that there are dupes or cheaper versions of certain products that are viral out there for those of us who maybe can't afford it. Cause a lot of the times the viral products are viral because of the name brand. Now, a lot of the times they are better quality. Obviously the elf one is not my favorite because it dries so quickly. I mean, you can already tell the difference. This side is a lot, is a lot clearer, right? You're glowy. Whereas this one, it honestly just leaves you kind of patchy looking. So let's see if the Lumi Glotion is similar to that or if it's gonna end up with the virals. I will say I have had some serious success with with these viral products. I mean, those perfumes, for example, I was able to get the same perfume, same smell, smells super great for like a fourth of the price. And I mean, when you think about it, honestly, no one's really looking at you holding your perfume bottle. They're gonna obviously only be impressed by the smell and it smells the exact same. So sometimes you can actually find some really good deals or some really good options instead of the viral products that end up a little bit more expensive. I think that that's a really good lesson to learn. I am so dark right now. Wow. Okay, you can really tell that there are obviously four slants and four sections. Now the real question is, which one's a smash and which one's a trash? We've got the Drunk Elephant for $38, Glow Recipe for $35, Lumi Glotion for $18, and the Elf for $12. This one we can already say is a trash. And now between these ones, it's hard. I'm gonna have to go with this one as my number one smash. This one was great. I do love that it already has the serum inside of it so it's smooth, you don't have to add anything else on. It feels very nice. Honestly, both of these feel super, super nice. So I think we're gonna have to give it to the virals. The virals were a smash and the dupes were a trash. Now going to what I was saying though, obviously you can still get the dupe items because they were actually super, super good and they give you kind of the exact same look as this other side, but if you're wanting the best, best product, yeah, those ones are a smash. And the last product, but of course not the least product, we have got the Viral Road Glazing Milk by Haley Road Beaver herself and this Paula's Choice Glazing Milk. I'm not really sure. They don't look the exact same, but they are the exact same product. Now this is the Glazing Milk and this is the Nourishing Milk Toner. Let's see which one's gonna be the smash of the past though. Because we all obviously already know my opinions towards the Glazing Milk. It is amazing and to die 
die for and I love every single bit of it. It honestly fascinates me because it, it actually feels like it's literal milk. But I'm curious to see if I can get the exact same product, same quality for a much cheaper price. Feels so good. It is so weird not applying it to my whole face. So that's strange, but it is a great product. I feel very nourished in my face. But now let's try the Paula's Choice Milky Toner. Okay, for starters, it is very milky. So the feeling of it is the exact same. It smells the exact same. Now the feeling of it. Okay, this one is feeling the exact same. They're both very hydrating. They both feel super good. This one obviously dries a lot faster and it feels very encapsulating. And this side still feels pretty wet and kind of colder. This one's gonna be hard. I think we're gonna have to take it to the app. Oh boy, alrighty then. The Nourishing Milk Toner is a 47 out of 100, and the Glazing Milk is also a 47 out of 100, and I'm pretty sure the ingredients are the exact same. Um, um, honestly, to save yourself some money, this one cost about $10.40, and this one was $35. So, for the sake of prices, the sake of it being literally the exact same product, I'm gonna have to say this one's a smash. If you're wanting the glazy, milky, toner, whatever, you're gonna have to go with this one. There's honestly a ton of glazing milk products that you can get, milky toners and whatnot. I'm gonna say this one's a smash. This one's not obviously a trash, this product is still really good, but I think that the dupe took the point for this one. This is actually shocking. Well, after much testing, trying things out, and really reviewing the products, we've come to the results. The viral products still are some of the better products. Now, obviously they are viral. One, because of the names. Two, because of the quality. There's a lot of things that go into them that make them viral. And these dupe products, a lot of them were cheap products and they were duped just to look the same, but some of them still were shocking. So it really, really depends. But I'm going to have to say that Honestly, you could get a lot more for your money with a lot of the dupes and you don't really need to be buying all of the viral products because some of the times the viral products are just viral because of their name. It's up to you. For me, those were my decisions and I'd love to hang out with you some more. So come and obviously hang out with me here in this video. It's gonna be fun. Let's test some more products out together and find some more different cool results. So see you there. Mmm, smells so freaking good.